Hello, I am with my beautiful, glamorous Jennifer after her lavish photo session today. I'm not feeling so lavish right now. I'm very tired. <laughs> She's very tired. She's but been I love you guys, it. so I'm still videoing just for you, not well, for him. Not for me. Never for me. <laughs> Never for the man. Today we're going to be doing a, a car flip video. Uh, are we on 104 or 105? I believe 104. All right, we'll just check the title that way. We'll make sure we get it and right. Are we doing this one for Gilberto? Yeah, Gilberto wanted to know, but there's been several people actually ask the question, and so it really needs to be answered. And I'm going to give you some insight that a few years behind me might help you out. His basic question is, "Hey, what's all involved in getting a dealer's license? You know, what the what gets? Do you need one? Do you need one? Are How many can you get away with? What's, you know, what do, what what's this all about? What do I got to do?" Well, Gilberto or whoever might be listening to this. Yes, a dealer's license, there's, there's a couple different ways to do it. One, you could A, um, some states will allow you to sell X amount of vehicles per year. I'm just going to throw a number out because all states are just a little different. Let's just say, I think Virginia allows four or five, maybe. <clears throat> I think, yeah. Okay, so if you're just playing around, you're going to do the three or four. That means you could do three and your wife could do three. You know, you can kind of you kind of work it a little bit, but eventually you're gonna run out of people to sell cars with. Plus, every time you do that, you're paying sales tax and uh, county tax, depending on who you're, where you're with, and registration fees, so and so and so. Title. So that really gets into your profitability. The second thing you can do is you could go to work for a car dealer that's already in existence. Um, that's that that happens, doesn't it? It happens. There's a lot more overhead involved if you go that route. Yeah, because basically then that car dealer is going to be like, all right, I'll do it, but you're going to pay me a fee. The going rate for that is usually a hundred coming and a hundred going, which means you're going to pay me a hundred dollars when you buy it and a hundred dollars when you sell it. So every car that comes and goes, a fair rate's about two hundred dollars, and you pay the dealer. Now, if you are going, and that's just wholesale. If you're going to retail that car using another dealer's license, they're probably going to get a pretty large amount of, uh, of the profit, wouldn't you agree? Yeah. Definitely. And it really gets really sticky. Then they'd have to actually pay you, um, they're going to have to hold taxes out, that kind of thing, or give you a tax form at the end of the year. At any point, they're going to own your car. The titles are got to come to them. You really got to have a trust relationship before you do that. Would definitely, you agree? Definitely. Because if you don't, all they got to do is say you're out and whatever money you've got is gone. They got your title. They got your title. It's and over. your money's done. I would not suggest the first two. The third thing you can do, some people do, uh, depending on, you know, if your state's cool or not cool or whatever the case is, uh, some people will just take titles. I don't recommend this but they can jump them from one person to the next. Um, to give them an example, let's say she was gonna sell me a car and I was gonna sell you a car or whatever. So she sells me a car, then I don't do anything to it, she just signs it and then I sell it over to you. All right, that's jumping the title. A lot of people do that, I don't really recommend it. I mean, if you had like an old clunker that wasn't worth anything and you didn't really care and you didn't want to go pay $200 to have it taxed and tagged, I kind of feel it, you know what I mean? But if you're going to do this for a living, um, it's a lot of work to try to keep up with that. I wouldn't suggest it. And then you still got to pay taxes. Somehow you got to keep, I don't even know how that would all work, but whatever, ever how that works. The most easiest, the most easiest, is that a word? No, the easiest would <laughs> okay. be the proper grammar. How about that. this way? The right way. The correct way. The correct way to do this is you do need a dealer's license. Um, but when you get your license, there's a couple things you need to cue on and you need to talk to your CPA and a good attorney before you do either one. Don't do this blindly. And you need to ask them both a question. Hey, if someone test drives this car in this state and kills a school bus full of kids, I'm, I'm just being facetious. Let's just say causes them some type of harm. 
And property damage. Yeah, or property damage to a county vehicle, just anything. If somebody damages something that owns by someone else driving my car, am I going to lose my house? Is that a fair question? Definitely. Because people are going to be test driving your cars, auto detailers, all these people are going to be driving your cars, and you got to ask yourself, who is liable if there is something wrong? Well, we understand there's a certain amount of risk, and yes, you can have insurance. But it all starts with what type of business you get. I would definitely go into a uh, some type of corporation, talk to whoever you're going to talk to, and see what it takes to protect you. I don't want to quote any type of corporation in specific because for different states can mean different types of coverage. The second thing I would do when you look into doing this is, number one, you're going to need dealer tags, but also get a transporter tag that will actually allow people to transport vehicles on your lot which is definitely important to do. It won't make sense until you're into it. Some states will let you use just a dealer tag, but if it's specifically a transporter tag for a, some type of a vendor, you need to have that so you're covered because the insurance company will not cover you if one of those are driving it on a dealer tag that's for demonstration purposes only. It's a cruel loophole of the car business that will put you out of business like it's put many, many people out of business so protect yourself with the demonstrator tag as well as the transporter tag. The next thing I think is really, really important, get your license to finance. You need a finance license. I will get into that later. And there's a big reason for that. If you're gonna let your business grow, I'm gonna teach you how to make yourself a multi-millionaire or at least really well off doing this business the way it needs to be done. But you just need to cover the first basic things. Corporation. Ask your attorney, ask your CPA, hey, somebody causes a lot of damage, are they gonna take my house? And how do I keep them from taking my house? They're gonna answer the question. B, a finance license. C, or I guess B was transporter tags. They specifically cover people transporting vehicles for whatever reason. And the last one is, uh, I've lost my train of thought. The finance. Oh, the finance license. You need, you need, you need a finance license. That allows you to get, most states allows you to get warranty, sell warranties, which is big and becoming um, successful. It allows you also to self-finance paper, which I will teach you all about that. That's the most profitable side of the car business, uh, especially if you're dealing with low-end cars and, you're, and you want to offer some type of service. It just opens up the world, and it's only an extra, usually 100 bucks, right? Right. All right. So there you go. I hope I answered some questions. You think they might have any questions about anything else? I'm getting ready to go on what you need for a location on my. Yeah, I was going to say. I, I think probably the We're easiest thing to do overhead. is break it down into. Different okay, right now you're just applying for a right. license. You basically, whatever your state says you require, we're working on the bare minimums right now. Talk to the attorney. Talk to the CPA. Make sure you get to keep your house. All right. So subscribe. And that tip is for free today, isn't it? That's for free. Everything we do for them is for free. That's right. I just make it sound important. Like, this well, one's free and the other one isn't. It is important, but... It is. And you know, know what's... Just trying, that's what this channel is about. I'm just trying we to just help, help you guys. Hey, we just helping folks out, man. See, what happened was... <laughs> what happened was... Anyway, anything you want to tell our viewers? Yes. About please. how awesome I was today? No. What? <laughs> We would like for you to support Homefront Hugs USA. If you have questions about Homefront Hugs, you can always comment on any one of our videos. Um, we're happy to point you in the right direction um, and you know hook you up with the people you need to talk to. I'm their representative for Virginia, so I can help you out as well. I want you to support your troops, support your wounded and disabled veterans, and um, just, just do the right thing. It feels good to do the right thing and make a difference. It does, and I'd like to point out today when I flexed, my sleeves fell off. <laughs> Everything's getting awkward. I think no, I'll just get to the next car flipping video. They know what's going on. Subscribe. We appreciate your support. Give this girl five. I'm giving her a five for all the fans and her great photo shoot today. Yeah. She rock and roll. Carrington and Finch rocks. They rock. Whatever that means. But they it means it. they're awesome. <laughs> And we love them. Thank this you, Christy. Thank you, Bruce.
Thank you, Christy, except when you Photoshop me, and that was not funny. Oh, I, I so wish I could share that picture with you. But we do not share that picture with our fans. Well, anyway. Maybe, maybe I could be bribed. Class is out today. Uh, actually, not. We're getting ready to do location, location, location. 